visiting BASF at the 2018 Commodity Classic. Ty Higgins with the Ohio Agnet and Ohio's Country Journal. A lot of the discussion here in Anaheim, California is about dicamba. Of course, there's a lot of training sessions going on all across the country to help farmers better utilize the product in 2018 and beyond. Chad Asmus is with BASF. Kyle Brown is a farmer from Wyandotte County, Ohio. Let's start with you, Kyle. First of all, just give us a background on your operation. We farm 1,200 acres uh, with corn and soybeans, and we contract grow some pigs for a farm out in Ohio there. And Chad, as we visit with you at BASF, we're talking about Ingenia. Tell us, give us a little background about that product. Yeah, so Ingenia is um, our uh, dicamba product for dicamba tolerant soybeans and cotton. It's the most flexible and advanced dicamba for those dicamba tolerant crops. The reason we have you two here is because uh, so much about what we're hearing about dicamba is being in a conversation about it. And, and communication is going to be key to success, as I mentioned, not only in 2018, but to utilize this product well beyond this uh, coming growing season. You're going to start in 2018 using Ingenia. Kind of tell me what led to that decision and, and what some of the factors on the farm were that uh, got you to this point. Well, with the uh, weed resistance in our area of the mare's tail and some giant rad weeks. Uh, we went off of advice from our agronomist and they also do our, our custom spraying as well, spray our fields. And after some discussions with them, they, they were pushing us to go that route uh, for weed control. And so we agreed to it. And I guess our, our game plan this year for the first year is uh, using the guy camera in a burn down and then not really having any attention to post it unless maybe some absolute emergency would come about. And Chad, we talk about, you know, getting into it at least a baby step as, as Kyle and his dad are doing there in Wyandotte County. Mm -hmm. uh, talk to me about maybe some of the farmers taking that step in 2017 and, and how you might see the product grow in use here later this year. Sure. If I could give um, uh, growers advice, it would be uh, train and plan. Um, no uh, how visit with your retailer if you're um, having it commercially applied or if you're applying it yourself you know there are very specific label requirements to know how to properly apply it um, and have a plan like it sounds like you do um, know where you, the approved dicamba formulation is going to fit into that system are you going to use a pre-plan pre-emerge are you going to post it um, and have uh, uh, a good plan in place because Ingenia herbicide shouldn't be used in a, in a reactive manner um, it should be as part of a proactive approach to manage your resistant weeds. Well, proactive is a great word because I have been to a few of these meetings, uh, dicamba training meetings all across Ohio, and uh, they have been so well attended. These farmers want to know what to do different, what to do better in 2018 because it is quite a useful tool. We are pleased that uh, the applicator training is now part of the restricted use pesticide designation because understanding uh, the why behind the how to uh, properly apply Ingenia is important for successful applications. And uh, um, we are pleased to be able to uh, conduct a number of face-to-face -face trainings uh, and encourage um, interested, your, your interested uh, viewers to go to ingeniastewardship.com. Uh, you guys can go there and find out all the training resources that you need um, to successfully apply Ingenia. I understand, Kyle, you're using a third party, of course, to, to apply uh, Ingenia here as you, as you get ready for 2018. How much of, of what you're doing as you prepare to use it in 2018 is about communication? Do your neighbors know, uh, you know that, you're, that you're planning on using it and where you're planning on using it? Well, being new to us, this, this whole thing, I, I have thought about that because I, I do know I did say something to one neighbor that is not really planning on using the Extend Bean, and I did tell him that we were just planning on using it for the burn down, which made him feel better because, you know, the, the stereotype out there is, you know, the volatility of it, especially post. And so that right there shows, I think, that we need to make sure the rest of our neighbors know um, or at least say something about it so they're aware of it and what our plans are and, you know, hopefully puts uh, worries to rest. Well, I know that you, you do have some concerns as you get into this, and, and you were talking uh, as we got ready for this video with Chad about that label and how particular some things are. And Chad, you say when it comes to farmers being that concerned about the label, that that preparation, that planning is key. What other advice would you have for farmers that are, are in the second year of this or maybe just getting started like Kyle is? Well, um, again, training is, is required part of this. So it doesn't matter if you used it last year and used it successfully. A lot of growers and applicators did successfully apply Ingenia. Um, you still have to undergo that training. Um, and again, have that communication, have that plan, know what's around you. 
um, and visit with your retailer if you haven't commercially applied um, and, and have that open communication. Um, and uh, use it as part of a, of, of a planned program. Uh, one thing uh, Ingenia and, and the dicamba tolerance system should not be used as, as a rescue. Um, so, you know, put your good residual down. If you're going to use a pre-plant uh, or pre-emerge, use it in that fashion and have a good post-emerge plan. Um, and don't get yourself boxed into a corner where all of a sudden, well, now I've got these weed escapes, and now what do I do? Um, and it's forecasted rain and wind, and um, so have a plan in place all the way around. Not every Kyle has a chat to talk to face to face, so there are other things farmers can do. There's a new portal out there, a stewardship portal to help them talk about some of the ways that uh, BASF is helping digitally get farmers on the right page. Absolutely, ingeniousstewardship.com is out there uh, with all of those resources, and we have over uh, 400 reps in the field, so I'd encourage your uh, viewers to reach out to your local BASF rep, um, and uh, uh, they'd be happy to walk you through and help build that plan and make sure they get the required training uh, for the grower applicators. Chad Asmus is with BASF. Kyle Brown, a farmer in Wyandotte County, Ohio, both here in Anaheim for the 2018 Commodity Classic. For the Ohio Agnet, I'm Ty Higgins. We'll see you down the road.